Hey, this is Kenneth M. Young, Restoration Millennial. I just want you to know, and when you expect the best, the best will happen for you. The story of Joshua in chapter 10, uh, Joshua expected the best. God told him he was going to win against his enemies. He was going to defeat his enemies. Whatever your enemies are, God has already given you the victory, but you, number one, must expect the best. A reason he can expect the best because why? God gave him more time. He needed more time to defeat his enemies. It was getting dark. The sun was about to go down. Joshua, oh no, I need more time to defeat these enemies. While we got our momentum going, if I had more daylight, we could make it happen. Guess what? God answered according to the words that he spoke. He spoke the trajectory of what he wanted to happen. That was victory. You can speak the trajectory of what you want to see happen. It will be victory. Why? Because uh, God has given us power to speak the trajectory of the victory we want to gain. So not only God gives him more time, God honors the word that are coming out of our mouth. It says life and death is in the power of our tongue. So as we speak it, it will happen. Don't forget to speak what you want to see happen. Last and final point, God is a covenant keeping God. God will honor his word. He will honor you. Because he wants the world to see the light shining through you. Because why he calls out of darkness till the marvelous light. Let your light so shine, you know. Expect the best. It's going to happen. You believe it. God believes in you. It's going to happen. Make it a great day.